Hi guys. So in today's lecture, we're going to be learning about the Wheeler-Atherton polygon clipping algorithm. So the main reason why the Wheeler-Atherton polygon clipping algorithm came into place was because the Sutherland-Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm had a few discrepancies. Okay, so if you don't know what a Sutherland-Hodgman polygon clipping algorithm is, you I have kept a link in the description below and I would love if you guys check out that video first before learning this algorithm. Okay. So, um, the main problem with the sutherland hodgman polygon clipping algorithm was that it clipped only the convex polygons correctly. However, there was an extra, uh, there was an inclusion of unnecessary lines while we clipped the concave polygons. Before we jump into that, I'm going to uh, explain you guys what a convex polygon is and what a concave polygon is. A convex polygon is a polygon whose interior angles is less than 180 degrees whereas a concave polygon is where one or more of the interior angles are greater than 180 degrees. For example, if I take this figure, this figure is a convex polygon. However, if I just bring this edge right here as shown in the figure I'm drawing, okay? So, if I do this, this becomes a concave polygon because this angle is greater than 180 degrees. Okay, so now that the difference between convex and concave polygon is clear, let's head to the algorithm. Let us assume that we are given a concave polygon in the figure. So first, I have drawn a legend here which says that V are the vertices of the polygon, C is the clip polygon, that is my window, and I are the intersection of the vertices with the clip polygon. So let's name it first. So this will be my V1, V2. This is an intersection, so I1, V3, V4. This is again an intersection, so I2, V5, this is an intersection, so I3, V6, and my clip polygon is this, C1, C2, C3, and C4. Okay, so if we use the Sutherland-Hodgman po polygon clipping approach, the problem was, like I mentioned in my previous slide, that I was getting an extra line. So that extra line was this. So, till so far, no problems at all, but the problem was in Sutherland-Hodgman approach that we were getting this line extra. This shouldn't be included. Because this line then tells us that it is no longer a complete polygon which we wanted the way to be clipped. However, in the wheeler atherton approach, what we do is that we take, we draw a column, okay? This column is our subject polygon, okay? Subject polygon and this column is our clip polygon. In the subject polygon, you write the vertices with the intersection in the clockwise order. So I start with V1, V2, I1, V3, V4, I2, V5, I3, V6. Okay? And in the clip polygon, you write the clip window with the intersections. So I have C1, I have I3, I have, I mean, my bad, sorry, I miss a 4, I3, I2, I1, C2, C3, and C4. Okay. So what we do is, we find the first edge which is going inside my clipping window. So 
from V1 to V2, I don't go inside. But from V2 to V3, my edge enters the polygon, cl the clipping window. So from there, I match, I keep this as my start point, And I traverse from I1 till the number of edges where my edge exits the clipping window. So here, my edge enters the clipping window. And at the intersection I2, my polygon leaves the clipping window. So I start from I1 and I go till I2. However, when I reach I2, I trace the I2 back to the clipping window and I stop when I find my previous intersection point. So since my intersection point right now was I2, so I follow this to I2 and I follow this trail till I find my previous intersection point that is I1. So I go down here. Okay, so this will be the way we are going to clip our first part of the polygon. Second, again, we find a place where the polygon edge enters the clipping window. So it enters the clipping window at this point between V5 to V6 and it exits it at I4, that is from V6 to V1. So again, following the same trend, we start from the point where it enters, that is I3. So I go down from I3 all the way to I4, okay, and then I trace I4 back in my clipping part, and then I go back to my previous intersection point, that was I3. So I3 V6 to V4 because V4 is the I4 is the point where I exit my polygon and then I trace the I4 back to the clip polygon and I move traverse down till I find my previous intersection points. Okay, so now we're going to draw the polygon using the Wheeler Atherton approach. So it says that we have to draw I1, V3, V4, I2. So let's draw I1. V3, V4, and I2. And my clip polygon says that from I2, I have to draw I2 to I1. So I join this. Next, I'll start from I3 to V6 to I4, and from I3 to V6 to I4, I3 to V6 to I4, and then from I4 to I3. So from I4 to I3. So this shaded region will be my clip polygon, and the line which was included, the line here in the Sutherland Hodgman approach, which was included using the Sutherland Hodgman approach, is now not included using the Wheeler Atherton approach. So this is how it's done. Uh, I'm really sorry for the missing the intersection point here. I made a mistake. Anyways, uh, so if you liked the video and if you understood it, please uh, give it like give a comment below. Uh, you know I lo love talking to you guys in the comments. And thank you for watching.